How does an agitator affect the fluid dynamics of your agitation vessel? Let's look at some important variables. RPM, or the revolutions per minute the impeller rotates, affect the pumping power. The faster the agitator moves, the faster the water flows throughout the tank. The second is the relationship between the tank diameter and the impeller diameter. Generally, a small impeller will produce less mixing than a large impeller, but if your impeller is too large, that will also hinder agitation. The third is the diameter of the impeller and its relationship to the bottom of the tank, where we describe where the agitator is placed in relationship to its diameter from the bottom of the tank. The closer the agitator is to the bottom of the tank, the more likely that it will pick up particles from the bottom of the tank. The geometric shape of the vessel influences agitation as much as impeller design. Tank geometry can be designed to achieve the desired agitation objectives. Notice a difference in agitation between a flat bottom tank and one with a slope bottom. So let's dive in. We took a competitor's agitator, which has four blades angled at 65 degrees. We modeled an exact copy of the agitator and ran some few tests. Let's take a look at what we found. This agitator is designed to sit on the bottom of the tank since it's attached to a motor underneath the tank. Therefore, the only adjustment you can make is the agitator speed. Notice that even at low speeds, solids are suspended off the bottom. Since our goal in botanical agitation is to separate trichomes from biomass, turbulence at the interface is the most important agitator function. Keeping particles under suspension or efficiently mixing is not a priority. Notice the water surface at each speed and evaluate how speeds affect the interface. By raising the agitator from the tank bottom, fluid dynamics changes drastically. Typically, we express the position of the impeller as a fraction of its diameter from the tank bottom. In this case, we test one-third its diameter from the bottom as well as three-quarters. Notice the change in turbulence of the interface as we raise the agitator. Also notice the accumulation of solids on the tank bottom. In botanical agitation, we want trichomes to settle to the bottom of the tank to prevent damage by the agitator. A false bottom is typically used to promote settling. However, a false bottom alone cannot overcome the agitation generated by the agitator placed directly on the tank bottom. One dictionary definition of shear is a strain in the structure of a substance produced by pressure when its layers are laterally shifted in relation to each other. In botanical trichome extraction, this can be seen when the agitator cuts biomass or trichomes due to the pressure it exerts as it rotates and collides with particles. To test shear, though in a non-scientific way, we used Orbeez to simulate trichomes to better understand how an impeller behaves at a given speed. Previous research on computational fluid dynamics showed that blade tip speed at 300 rpm or greater subjects trichomes to strong shear forces. As we slow down the video, you can see how the agitator slams into the particle and ejects it laterally. Though this particular impeller claims to be a no shear impeller, I don't believe such a thing exists. However, even after agitating Orbeez at 300 rpm for an hour, I was surprised that they were intact. Next, we ran tests on a five blade agitator used by a competitor with a round tank. Notice how effective the agitator is at suspending particles. Also notice the greater turbulence at the interface when compared with the previous four blade impeller. Both of these agitators are fixed at the bottom of the tank and RPM is the only adjustment possible on these systems. Rotation direction is altered to promote turbulence at the interface in both designs. However, the agitator performs the same in either direction. How does a flat blade impeller perform in the shear test? Let's find out. As previously mentioned, rotational speeds of 300 RPM subject trichomes to tremendous shear forces. In theory, Orbeez though apparently stronger than trichomes, should show signs of stress. This impeller design exploits the fact that five blades create more agitation than four. Since the vessel in this machine 
is so tall, I believe it is necessary to use many blades at high RPM and alternate agitation direction to achieve the necessary turbulence at the interface. Notice the vortex generated at 300 RPM, which in a round tank without baffles would be greater. This vortex brings biomass closer to the agitator and exposes the biomass to shear. The results of the shear test are striking and highlight the importance of agitator design. Granted, this was not an apples to apples comparison and there are other factors at play here that don't directly translate to the actual machine we're modeling. Nonetheless, there's a lesson to learn here on the effects of shear on impeller design. Computational fluid dynamics were used to design the mesclatora system. Countless iterations of tank geometries, as well as agitator designs, were evaluated. CFD can bring insight and speed up product development. However, modeling and prototyping must always be conducted to validate those projections. The data discussed in this video was contemplated during our design phase to increase the likelihood of success. We present this data not as a critique of competitors, but as education to the end user to make educated purchase decisions. The Mesclatore system is versatile as it allows you to modify not only the agitator's speed and rotation direction, but also the height. This allows for optimum agitation regardless of the batch size. The tank geometry was designed in conjunction with the agitator. Solid settling velocity of trichomes were evaluated to create a system that has two distinct zones of agitation. The vessel upper section is optimized for turbulence at the interface where biomass floats, and the reduction of vortex formation, reducing the possibility of biomass reaching the agitator. The bottom portion of the vessel is optimized to promote downward flow of particles so trichomes exit the system through the false bottom.